Hey guys, Joe from American Trucks. In this video, we're gonna be going over the OPR powered heated fold away flip up towing mirrors with turn signal, puddle lights, and temperature sensor in texture black, fitting all 13 to 18 Ram 1500s. Now, this is gonna be a great option for any Ram owner out there that's looking to add pretty much all of the utility you can to the wing mirrors at a budget friendly price. So first things first, let's dive into what these are made out of. And that is gonna be a durable yet lightweight automotive grade ABS plastic featuring that black textured finish, which looks perfectly right at home on the side of any Ram. Of course, these are also available in Chrome at an extra cost. So these mirrors have a lot of features. We're gonna start with some of the more simple ones first. We're gonna get this side by side with the factory stuff in just a second and really point out the differences between these two. But it's suffice to say, these are gonna be a little bit longer than the factory stuff, which is designed to help with towing. If you wanted to take that to the next level, these do flip up very, very easily. All you have to do is grab the glass and tilt it up like so. And you also have a nice convex section of the mirror here that's designed to help you out with blind spot. This mirror is also gonna pack an LED puddle light underneath, which is a nice little bit of courtesy. And it LED turn signal on this corner, which is a great way to warn other drivers about where you're gonna be going. Now, one thing about those features, if your truck did not come with those out of the factory, you will need to take a trip to the dealership in order to basically unlock those features with the computer reprogramming. Just keep that in mind. Unfortunately, that's the scenario we're in today. Our truck was not optioned with those, but barring a quick reprogramming at Dodge, they would work just fine. Now, right out of the box, these are gonna work with your standard heating element behind the mirror here. Make sure these are nice and defrosted, and they are completely power adjustable with the OEM switch on the door card. Two really, really nice touches. You get to keep that functionality from the OEM mirror. Now, this option right here, this is gonna be the manual folding option. So in order to collapse this, all you have to do is that exactly right there manually. Now, there is a power folding option available that is gonna come in a little bit of an extra cost, and if your truck wasn't an option with power folding, there's gonna be a little bit of extra wiring involved. If you're looking for a manual option, this will suit you just fine. On top of that, these have a really nice breakaway feature. If you pull them the other way, let's say your truck gets sideswiped, they'll go all the way up to the fender, which hopefully will preserve the mirror in the event of an accident. Pricing is gonna fall right around that $450 range. Really not a bad price to pay, especially if you didn't have a lot of this functionality to begin with. You're adding a lot here between the extra towing capability, the LED lighting, all that stuff. I think it's a good price to pay. You're getting a lot with a mirror like this one. Install is going to be really, really simple. Completely plug and play here. That's gonna make it a one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Should take you at most two hours, barring a trip to the dealership if you need your turn signal and puddle light activated. Keep that in mind if that's something you don't have option from the factory. But without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools we use for this install will include an impact, ratchet, Phillips head, and a flathead screwdriver just as a trim panel removal tool, 10 millimeter socket, and a T15 Torx bit on a small extension will help you a lot. So the first thing we're gonna need from that tool shot is gonna be the T15 Torx bit and the ratchet. We're gonna have to pull our door card off and then we can start work on the mirror. So taking a closer look at the hardware that's holding on our door card here, you can see what looks to be just like a T15 Torx bit headed screw. Uh, what this really is is a pop clip. It's in two sections. So what we're gonna do is get our flat head in between the two and that'll pop out a little bit like so. Then you can unthread it with the T15. and you can see the top half of that is threaded. Now you just have the bottom half, and we're gonna pop that out with the flat head. These do tend to jump, so just put your hand over them to catch it. And we're just gonna repeat that same process all the way around the door card. So there's one more piece of hardware holding this on that we're gonna have to remove. It's underneath the door handle right here. You can see there's this little cover. We're gonna pry that out of the way with a flat head and then use a Phillips head to remove the screw. And with that out, we can go ahead and get this piece out of here as well. Next thing we're gonna have to work on here, window switches. Go ahead and pull up, then you should be able to slide a screwdriver under the front, give it a small pry. 
that'll pop right up like so. And then we can unplug that by pressing down on the release tabs. Next thing that's gonna have to come off this piece right here, flathead underneath, small pry, and that'll pop right off. And then you can lift up on the whole door card to get this out of here. Now you can see the wire that goes up to our mirror. There's a Christmas tree clip right here. Just pull that out. And then at the bottom, this is gonna plug into this little computer here. There's a release tab on this side. Push it down. And then you can pop that out like so. Finally, we can start work on our mirrors. It's held in with three 10 millimeter nuts. Two there, one on top. And one more. And then that mirror is gonna fall away. Feed the wire through, and that is uninstalled. So now that we have our factory mirror completely uninstalled, I figured now would be the perfect time to grab our new mirror, put the two side by side, and point out some of the key differences. Before I dive into this one, the first thing you're gonna be able to see here, this is gonna be our turn signal light right here on the end corner. If I flip these two up, you'll see another difference. That is gonna be our puddle light over on this side. You can see the temperature sensor is gonna be the same because both of these mirrors are heated. Now, if I flip these two mirrors around, you can see they both have that standard mirror section, but our new mirror is gonna add that convex section. That's gonna help with the blind spot and the length of this thing. You can see this is a little bit longer as well. That's also intended to help with towing and blind spot management. So without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and take our new mirror here, as well as the three 10 millimeter nuts we just removed and get this installed. It's gonna be the opposite process. And then we can do the same thing over on the other side. All we're gonna do is feed our wiring harness through. And then we're gonna get the stud seated and secure with the 10 millimeter nuts. Now we can plug our mirror in. We're gonna start with this little wire management clip that goes right back into the factory position. And then down here, our black plug is gonna go on top. And then the white plug underneath. So now we have the mirror plugged in. Now would be a perfect time to test it. Plug the door switch back in, make sure the power adjustment is working, and then we can start to rebuild. We're gonna put that switch aside for now because what we're actually gonna start with is our door card. Now, as we put this on, you just wanna make sure that the pin for the lock goes through. Then that will slide on like so. We can reach in here pull out the connectors for the window switch. And then we can plug that back in. And that drops right back into place. After that, we're gonna slide on the surround for our door handle and secure it with the Phillips head screw. And then we pop this little cover back on. Now we can pop this trim panel back on. I'm just gonna click into place. Now we can go around the edges with the push pins. That's gonna do it for the driver's side, the install over on the passenger side. It's gonna be the same exact thing. But that's gonna do it for my review and install of the OPR powered heated fold away flip up towing mirrors with turn signals, puddle lights, and temperature sensors in texture black, fitting all 13 to 18 Ram 1500s. As always guys, thank you for watching. Keep it right here at American Trucks for all things Ram.